Hey guys, it's 12 Everlasting Friends, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a hexaflexagon. Hexa <laughs> so, what you're going to need is to print a hexaflexagon template off of Wikipedia. That's where I got mine. And it should have numbers on it. It should go up to three, one, two, three, and there should be one blank spot at the end. So when you, after you've done that, you want to take the blank side and fold it backwards, like so. And then you should have something like that. Then you want to fold, and you should have a three and a two, and fold it forward. And you should keep getting small triangles. Then you should have this triangle, a blank triangle over the one. Then you want to see this three right here? You want to fold. This is a kind of tricky part. And then you should get something like this. So all I did was it was like that, and there's a three, and I just put like that behind. And I hope you understand this because it's actually really hard. It doesn't look that hard, but it really is. Then we have this. You should have something like this so far. And so if you see the numbers, there should be like a two and a one. And we're going to work like this with the long side down and the short side right here. So you want to fold the one and from the one down, you want to fold it back and you need to fold it like diagonal and then you should get something like that. Like that. And then you just want to keep going back and forth and you should like be making a spiral almost. So I'll do that and I'll run through it with you again. So So you should have something like this. And I'm sorry if this video is going to be long because it is difficult. And then after this, when you have this, you want to fold the See where the one is right here? You want to fold the three and go behind and kind of fold on the di diagonal. Then fold in front and kind of twist it. Then you want to fold it behind and then fold it in front and then fold it behind and you should have something like this spiral after you have that there should be numbers there should be two numbers and well we're going to do it on this time there should be two threes right here and then you want to fold it you fold it over like so and then you should have something like this after you have that you want to take the side that's not bending um, out to the side and you want to bend it over like that And technically, this is a hexaflexagon. All you need to do now is take this little flap, fold it, kind of. Well, yeah, fold it. And put it through the back 
there should be like a little flap in the two and you just put it in there and then technically that's a hexaflexagon you just want to tape that inside and then you could bend it like this like a triangle and you should you could color the sides and see that there are um, a couple different sides so thanks for watching I hope you like this um, comment down below and please subscribe bye thanks for watching okay so now I taped the edges that, that are coming up well I told you to in the video that I taped them shut so now I'm gonna whoops I dropped my hips of flexible. now I'll show you how it has a couple sides so I'm just gonna color it with pink crayon um, you can do marker but I'm warning you it does bleed through I did one with marker and it did rip so I'm just gonna color this side pink and I'm gonna color the other side different colors and I'll be right back and I will be done with that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm back and I've colored all the sides. So I know it's pretty bad, but um, I'll sh it was just an example so I could show you how many sides it has. So this is how you will turn it inside out. You make a shape like this by just pinching it together. And then in the there should be a little hole in the middle like that. And then you open it up again. Whoops. And you open it up again, and see, it's a different side. And then you can keep doing it, and these are really fun to play with in class. So, yeah, you can just keep fumbling around, decorate it, personalize it, just keep having fun with it, and it's super fun, so. So, yeah, yes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and comment down below if you liked it. So, yeah, but this is so much fun. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.